and it's talking about solutions. So usually when you're in like a real lab, you have a stock solution and what you do with that stock solution is you take a little bit of it and you'll take that little bit and you'll add it to a bunch of water and that will make you different types or different concentrations of solutions, depending on what kind of experiment you want to do. So what I'm going to talk about here is um, basically how do you do the calculations to figure out how you would make a solution? Call these dilutions. Where you're taking something that's concentrated and you're going to take a small bit of it, mix it with a bunch of water, and get a diluted version of that stock solution. The main formula you need to know is M1V1 is equal to M2V2. It's very straightforward to use that. Let's see how to apply it in problems. So you got a 14.8 molar solution of NH3. How many milliliters of this solution do you need to get a solution to 100 milliliters at one molar? So the stock solution in this case is the 14.8 molar of NH3. It's very, very concentrated. We want to make a much less concentrated version. That's just one molar and just 100 milliliters. So we're going to take a little bit of the 14.8 one, and we're going to make, add it to water to make a one molar solution. So the calculation for that is just M1, V1, M2, V2. So in this case, uh, M1 is just the 14.8. That's your first molarity. V1, we don't know. M2 is just one. That's the second molarity down here. And V2 is the second volume, or 100. Now in this problem, they use milliliters, so we're not gonna change anything. Our answer will also be in milliliters. If this was in liters, our answer would also be in liters. So keep that in mind. It's a really simple problem now. You just divide each side by 14.8. So 100 divided by 14.8. And that will give you your V1. Cancels out on this side. 6.76 if you round up milliliters. So the thing is here that we're going to make a 100 milliliter solution at one molar. What you would do is you would take this 6.76 seven six milliliters of the stock solution again that was the 14.8 guy and you would add enough water to make it 100 milliliters and that would make your one molar solution now what i just explained there is like the lab application of this usually in calculations like this you just want to know how do i figure out what v1 is in this case or you know how do you find the other molarity or the other volume I have the answers explained on the presentation. So if you don't watch this, you can just see them all explained already. So next one, you have a solution that is 1.5 molar. Here we're dealing with H2SO4. How many milliliters of this acid do you need to prepare 100 milliliters of a 0 0.18 molar solution of H2SO4? So again, your stock solution is up here. It's a 1.5 molar one. We want to make a much less concentrated version that's just 100 milliliters. So it's the exact same thing, M1, V1, M2, V2. M1 is 1.5. V1 we do not know. M2 is 0 0.18. V2 was 100. Again, divide each side. Cancels out over here. So 0.18 times 100. And you take that answer, that's just 18, divided by 1.5. So V1 in this case is 12 milliliters. It's a volume, so it's milliliters. So same situation here to actually get your new solution, your 100 milliliter solution, that's 0.18 molar. You would take the 12 milliliters we just calculated here, take 12 milliliters of the stock solution, add enough water to get 100 milliliters, and there you would have your new solution. 
think you can see it explained right there. Our right, next one. In this case, we have 0 0.8 liters of a 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid solution. How many moles of HCl does this solution contain? So this is going back to the stuff that we did previously. Just a review kind of problem. It's more molarity. And I'm, for the given, we're given molarity at 0 0.5. We're given liters, 0 0.8 liters. We don't know the moles. So thinking back, the equation for molarity is moles over liters. Molarity is 0 0.5. Moles, we don't know. Liters is 0 0.8. How many moles do we have? It's just multiply each side by 0 0.8. So to get your answer, it's 0 0.5 times 0 0.8. And get 0 0.4. All right, next. This one, we got 44.4 milliliters of a 1.2 molar solution of NaCl. But you need 0 0.8 molar solution. How many milliliters of a 0 0.8 molar solution can you make? So going back to the new stuff, M1, V1, M2, V2. In this case, our M1 is the, we can just say it's the first molarity given. V1, we can just say is the first volume given. M2, they gave us 0 0.8. V2, we don't know. That's what we're going to calculate. The how many milliliters is what we're going to figure out. Very straightforward once you set it up. Cancels out here. So to get your answer, you take 1.2 times 44.4. And you divide that by 0.8. 66 and a little bit. That's a milliliters. It's a volume, so it's a milliliters. What's next? This one, you got two liters of a 0 0.7 molar solution of NaNO3, or sodium nitrate. Must be prepared from a solution known to be 1.8 molar in concentration. How many milliliters do you need? So we can do this just like we did that last one. The first volume given is the two liters, so we'll use that for V1. The first molarity given is the 0 0.7, so we'll use that for M1. In this case, we have liters. So I'm not going to change it for now. I'll just leave it at two. But just keep in mind that your answer, volume you're finding, is going to be in liters. M2 they gave us is 1.8. And we find V2. So divide each side by zero or 1.8. So 0.7 times 2 divided by 1.8. 0 0.78 rounding up. Now that is liters because we didn't change the volume up here. This one they're asking us for milliliters. So something you're gonna see a lot with these kind of problems is you're gonna to have to go between liters and milliliters, back and forth. So to convert from liters to milliliters, we wanna get milliliters and we wanna get rid of the liters. For every one liter, you have 1,000 milliliters. 
So you just multiply 0 0.78 times 1,000, and you get 780 milliliters. So that's our actual answer. Now, if you had a problem where they gave you milliliters and you had to get your answer in liters, you just do the exact opposite. You divide by 1,000. So writing that down to go from liters to milliliters, it's times 1,000. To go from milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. Make a note of that somewhere. Let's right, see what we got next. What volume is 0 0.3 molar KCl potassium chloride is needed to make 100 milliliters of a 0 0.1 molar solution? So here they give us a molarity. They don't give us a volume with that molarity. They say what volume. So the way I'll do this one. Also, there's my M1. 0 0.3. I'll say I don't know V1 because we're, we're going to try to fall in the volume associated with 0 0.3 molar. And then they gave us the 100 milliliters and the 100 or the 0 0.100 molar. So 0 0.100 for M2 and 100 milliliters for V2. So my answer will be in milliliters. So 0 0.1 times 100. Then divide that by 0 0.3. You should get 33.3 .3 milliliters.